we're coming back at you with more Luigi's Mansion 3. Last time, we freed Egad from his picture frame imprisonment, and now this time we're gonna go ahead and start exploring floor five. Ah, Luigi, I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. That poltergust goo of yours has a new feature that I like to call suction shot. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. Use Y to fire the rubber plunger. You can stick it on to flat and smooth surfaces. And if you use the poltergust goo to suck up the rope and then press A, you can tug on the objects and pull them off a powerful slam to break them. You should start shooting it at things right away. Practice makes perfect, after all. L. And don't forget to get my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> Off screen, I went ahead and just installed the elevator buttons and did that whole thing because uh, it just takes a minute and it just. I was ready to get into exploring floor five. So, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into the exploration. Come here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and shoot our beam at this. Get some money. As you can see here, there's a little spot on these that you're able to fire this at and pull stuff down with, which is pretty nifty. And that'll open up a room for us. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Looks like we're going to be finding our first gem for this floor. Can we do anything with this one? Ooh, socks! And some towels? We're getting really, really, really good stuff here. Scared of ghosts? No. Scared of spiders? Absolutely. Alright, so this is our first instance of a gold ghost. Whenever you smack them into the ground, they're gonna just release a bunch of money. Go ahead and pick that money up. As quick as you can in between grabbing it. Juking me for a second there. I think we got him. And there we go. We've completed our first instance of a gold ghost. My phone's going off, but we know what happened last time. You can't fool me. Back off there, bud. Watch your step. Okay. Now, as you can tell, there's a there's a little spot missing here. This is one of those instances where I said this light would come in handy. You're able to reveal a spot like this, walk across it, and now we can see what's in here. It's just a bit of money, but nonetheless, still helpful. Okay. Let's take a 
take a look in here. That's where we were, right? Yeah, we were in here. Interesting. Bats. Okay. You better get moving. Nope. Okay, we had to vacuum. Okay. So now it's become Spider City beneath us, huh? Um, I am way more terrified of these than I am anything else in this game. I saw that spider and now it's just gone, which I'm fine with. Now, one thing to note, that flashlight does clip through the floor. Could you get a move on, Luigi? You need to get to my room and recover my briefcase. Okay, you got You didn't even tell us which room was yours. You know where my room is, right? Look closely at the VV map. Oh, I know, but you didn't tell me, so I'm gonna do this other step first. That is the only other thing that happened off-screen, as he mentioned we needed to go recover his briefcase for him. Let's just answer this. Yeah. Room service. <laughs> That's not what I ordered. Alright. Interesting. It looks like there's part of the wall we can go ahead and take off here. Okay. Nothing but death for spiders in this game. Just get those out of the way so we can take it. No! Oh my goodness. Let's see what's going on through here. We can see a gem over there at that gargoyle, amongst some other things. Let's go ahead and head back out. Well, let's go ahead and investigate this first room. I guess nobody's listening to their music anymore. Take those headphones. Is it wanting me to... What? Well, it's official. Luigi hates music. Wait. I just like land on that? Nope. Alright, let's see what's going on in this room. Anything we can shine a light on in here? Fair enough. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we turn on the sink. Bit of money. Okay. Duck! to the next. Let's see what's going on in here. Can't escape me. Oh, let's just get some of this 
mess cleaned up here. I had a feeling something like this would happen. It's happened in my nightmares plenty of times. We're just gonna blink all of the spiders out of existence. Just gonna clean some of this up so the guests will have a nice, uh, Nice place to store some of their stuff, maybe. Okay, pick this up. And head on into the next room. This is a mess. Oh, I just broke another dock. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you got it. We'll get to it. Don't worry, bud. Okay. Looks like we're pretty much done here. Back into the hallway we go. We got our second gem for this floor. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. Oh, at least the ghosts have good hygiene, right? And just like that, I think I spoke too soon. Oh, that's. That's. We can play golf. Okay. I played Mario Golf before. I don't know. We just gotta make one in here, right? We got it. Let's go. Oh, we got two for the price of one. We're the best golfers on this channel. Let's go ahead and clean some of this up. Going on here, bit of money. I just slang. What? I slang that chair around. Can I do it again? That's awesome. I didn't even know you could like do that. Just getting ready to come in here and tell him to fix his hygiene habits and it's not in here, huh? Wow. Oh. Imagine that you're just trying to have a, a fine day, you go to use the restroom and that pops out at you. I mean, what do you even do? What do you even do? in here make sure we're not missing anything okay I guess that ghost is gone Let's see what's uh, going on with the suitcase here what okay Got two for one going right now. Oh, and we got the third. That was clean. 
That was really clean. Get it clean, because we vacuumed them. Looks like there's something we could turn off here. Oh. Wow. Hey! We might have taken a bit of damage, but we got the gold bat. too fun now I figured out I could do that. Now as we saw there was the random curtain that usually means you're gonna find something. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. We'll go ahead and get our health back. Let's see what's going on and spider crawls out of yep that's happening my nightmares as well. This is just a nightmare filled episode, dude. The spiders are awful. I know they're helpful and stuff, but that doesn't make them any less, like, scary looking. Yeah, yeah, you got. We'll get your briefcase. Just hold on a minute. We're just taking care of some stuff. We're just looking around. Just looking around. Usually a circle like that's going to indicate one of these. We'll go ahead and pull that off. Light. And... Money! We're gonna hit it with the Mr. Crab special and just grab it all. And now we can walk through here and go ahead and get our third gem for the floor. Go ahead and get some of this vacuumed up here. And let's go ahead and head back out. I don't really know who would hide money like that in a hotel, but fair enough. Oh, I had it aimed and then I took a step too far. Let's go ahead and collect all this money here. Seems a bit strange. Alright. It's about time we go ahead and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and before we decide to chase her down with Egad's briefcase, let's just go ahead and do our job as a uh, room service, right?
We're definitely not ghost hunters. We're just here for room service today. Egad, if you're calling me. Hello. Hey Luigi. Sorry, I was busy and just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status on my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there, get after her. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> I got some stuff to take care of. I don't want to get fired from my room service job. Oh, we, we got it. See what's going on on the back porch here. Okay. Need some water over here. Yeah. Anything we're missing out here? Take a look through here. Oh. And that was our first encounter with a gem ghost. Okay. Done out there for now. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here so we can have this part explored. I will fire plungers at you until I feel safe. Is that money? What? I feel like this is a profound statement, but I'm not going to get into that. Oh. Whole squad rolling up. If we point this at the wall, we can see oh. that she flew through that wall. Let's 
says, unlike normal ghosts, for her, because of the briefcase protecting her, you're gonna have to use the suction cup. Let's go ahead and answer the virtual boo. By the way, Luigi, here's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But, it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to... You get the idea. I'd say waiting 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work. Round two. Okay. Don't think she. Yep. She went all the way through. So we saw her go through. So I think it's a good bet to maybe say. And... We went ahead and we took care of the business. Briefcase is just gone. Oh, and we got ourselves an elevator button. It seems that you've also acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come back to the lab. Alright. Making a quick run here. Let's go ahead and put our elevator button in. And we're heading to the basement. How did that stick sideways? I guess there is just a tad bit of a lift there at the door, huh? That's some movement. Now that we got this plunger, we can do a couple of things. So before we head in to visit EGAD, we're gonna go check... Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. We're gonna go check a couple of things back in this area. So, as we saw upstairs, we now have the ability to push and pull things with the suction blaster. So let's go ahead and acquire another gem for the basement floor. See what's going on. Can I like no, we gotta Oop. Let's go ahead and see what comes out here. Money. We got some money. Just some dust. You know how low we that does.
Okay. Go ahead and see what's going on with this. Let's just go ahead and send that. What? <laughs> um, that seems like it'd be ha a hazard. We're just gonna... Let's check what's down here. Really Towels! We need them all. We'll take all those with us. Oh my god. Uh -oh. Let's go ahead and head into the garage, but before we head over to CE guys, let's go ahead and try out our new device on some of this stuff that we couldn't mess with earlier. Duck! And it broke the duck again. Do that again. That's where the gem was. Ah, yes. Okay. Now I remember. Go ahead and take out these. Nothing we can do with that one quite yet. Let's go ahead and take this one out and let's see what's going on back here. I'll try to it up quick enough. I still got it! Let's go! Got some money here that we can go ahead and pick up. Gonna be up this ladder. Anything up here? Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Calm down, Egad. We're just looking. We're just looking at stuff, okay? We're gonna take a look at one one more thing here really quick. Can we do anything with this? I am a businessman. Let me in. Wow. Let's go ahead and head into Egad's laboratory. Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase. Chop, chop. This is what I wanted. 
The time has come to use it in battle. I'm too old to be out catching ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor Egad. I give you Gooigi. The development process was a real challenge to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Hmm? How is it going to help? Now, now, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm going to attach this to the poltergeist goo. Turn around for me, would you? Okay, it's all set up. But Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. Caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. But I am going to need you to stay locked up. Why you ask? Because I want you to use Guiji to try to escape from yourself. You can activate Guiji with R, pressing the right stick. To recall him to his tank, press the right stick twice. Okay. Ta-da! Behold, this is your very own personal assistant, Guiji. Guiji can slip through tight spaces like grates or vents. His body is incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on, see for yourself. There you go. He moves in basically the same way as you do, so controlling him shouldn't take too much getting used to. Oh, and that reminds me. Pressing R, or pressing the right stick, Guiji, once Guiji is active, will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. Okay. <laughs> Guiji isn't even remotely waterproof, Luigi. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. Go ahead and redispense him here. The long way. Now we made it. Like I said before, you can switch between yourself and Luigi by pressing the right stick. You can even do it while you're in the middle of some other action, like using the Poltergeist Goo. Well done, Luigi. I feel like I can let you run loose with Luigi. Alright, we're done with your training, at least for now. Let's go back to the lab. Nice work, Luigi. Very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. I've been running the sensors in the lab, and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know you really want to find all of your missing friends, but if you want a break from that, you could head over to the tower. It's probably crawling with ghosts that you can catch. Go on and test your skills there, for science. I've made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab, just like Scarescraper in multiplayer. Have fun! Oh, wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out Scream Park if you're feeling a bit lonely and want to have some fun. Up to eight people can play and compete with one another. Fun! <laughs> oh right, you can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take it to the third floor. Now, before we go ahead and do that, we're going to do one last thing before we decide to go to floor three and end this episode. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use Guiji to finally do the thing that we were supposed to be doing this whole time. Now, much like you, Guiji has the same functionality. He can do all the same stuff. Oh. 
Who can get that gem for us? So, that's how we get into grates in areas like this, as well as some other areas. There's one other spot here that, while we're at this, we're going to use Guiji to go check out. When you saw me do this earlier, you probably noticed I pulled off a grate over here and it has a little circle. Well, Luigi can just jump right into that, take it elsewhere. And now, we just get some gold from up here. If he jumps off and falls, he does not die. And we'll go ahead and recall him. So before we go ahead and end everything off... We're going to use Guiji to do one more thing. As you noticed earlier, there's a right here that we couldn't get through. Guiji just sinks right into it. And he's going to go ahead and grab us our fifth gem for the floor, leaving us with one gem left to find. So let's go exploring for a minute and see if maybe we can find where that one last gem for us is. I think I have a pretty good idea of where we're needing to go. Let's go ahead and check back out of here. Right. And let's just go ahead and take that down. And now we can head into here. This is another area that before we explored floor 5 we didn't really have too much access to. Get some of this money. Go ahead and use our light here on it. Get the rest of the money that's down here. Let's take a look at what's going on back here. We got that chest. Let's head up just a little bit here. And as you can see, there's a great. And with that, we have collected all of the basement gems. So, we're going to go ahead, head back into the garage, and we're going to call it an episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and having a great time this week, weekend, or whenever you're watching. I thank you guys so much for joining me here. And without further ado, I'll see you guys next time.